And this is perfect. Now I get to pull up. Ah, wonderful intro. Boom. What's good, YouTube? All right. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I have been slacking on the video. It's gonna be tight because I would have done me like four videos. I don't know what I did to it. Like, honestly, I never dropped this one. Like, ever. Like, my whole life. Out of all the years of having this, I don't even know how long I got this one. This is an A+. Plus. I got the A+, plus when it was relatively new. I don't know what I did to it, but, like, I swear to you, bro, I would've had, like, four videos of, bro, like, mad shit of fire fucking shit, but it's just my fucking camera's broken, like, legit fried. Peep this, peep this right here, right? I'm gonna pull it up. This is what it looks like. When I'm like trying to do something, look, look, look. If I try to take a photo, it's not working. You peep that? If I try to take a photo, it's not working. If I try to take a video, that shit is chopped. That shit is not working. Okay. It took two photos that were black as hell. That's new. I mean, that's progress. The only thing that works is the portrait because it's a different camera. But even then, it doesn't come out that sharp. But the photo and video is getting violated. It's hard to record outside, you feel me, with a busted up camera. And that shit just gets me tight. So honestly, I don't like doing sit downs and reactions because I feel like that's day room. But you know what? We're going we gonna to be day room today. And we're going to enjoy being day room. You know why? We coming with some food. With some good eats. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bro, I haven't had a sandwich from the store in so fucking long, bro. Like, yo. Yo. You know what this handful of fucking joy is, bro? Bro. Let me show you, bro. It's kind of hard because... It's not gonna be as fire as a presentation, but still, it don't matter, bro. It don't matter, bro. You want some? No, stupid. Let me teach you something. Out here, like. I'm from New York out here. This is called a chopped cheese. Arguably the best sandwich in New York. Straight up. You not from here and you come here. Don't come to the dangerous parts, but come and buy a sandwich like this. I a chopped cheese. Get an Arizona. I recommend the mango or fruit punch. A grape, a can. If it still has it. But if they don't. Bottle Jones, get this shit slap along with this shit. It slap. All right, wait, fuck. I gotta find the video to react to. I should have really thought of this. Um, I might just do a reaction to this sandwich because this shit is good, nigga. I'm just trying to take a quick bite because I ain't gonna lie to you. Mm. Bro, I had this sandwich for so long, bro. Bro, last sandwich I had was dead like a while before, like a minute before quarantine. I literally told myself, like, yo, right when quarantine started, I just said, yo, when everything is like closed. Once everything got closed, right? I was like, yo, I didn't have a chopped cheese or a sandwich at all in a minute, right? Quarantine happened. I ain't touch a chopped cheese since, bro. Mad long, bro. Niggas don't be getting sandwiches left and right. I mean, if you in school, yeah, you get a sandwich every morning. Usually. usually. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a nigga can have, a, like, a sandwich, like, once a month. Once every two weeks, nigga. You get the traditional chopped cheese for lunch or something like that on the outside. You know, it's one thing I want to do with friends and shit. It's a game, right? It's called Mafia. And actually, I'm going to react to that. We're going to react to that. It's called Mafia. So basically, 
ma- in Mafia, right, what you do is, right, you play like seven or eight people. So basically, there is about like seven, eight people. One of them is going to be a narrator. Guiding people like through the game because the point of the game is to like it's two teams it's mafia and then it's the town, you know what I'm saying? Like it's mafia and then it's like regular civilized people. The mafia members, there's like two of them or one of them, depending on how you play. Mafia members are trying to take these niggas out, like they're trying to kill them and take over the city. And the city, the civilized people are trying to keep their city and get the mafia members out. So there's usually two mafias, civilians, like some civilians, one detective and a doctor that can save people's lives, right? So boom, this is how it goes. Like niggas go through the night. When they go through the night, they wake up. And before they wake up, right, this is the part where the narrator comes in. Like if you were in a room with all these people, they would close their eyes. and narrator would be like, yo, who you want to kill? Who you want to take out? Boom, you choose him, him, or him. They close their eyes, right? And the doctor and the detective have the option to pick a random life to save, not knowing who the mafia chose to kill. Um, And the detective can choose who to, like... Like, because obviously the narrator knows everything because he's guiding them. The detective gets to ask the narrator a yes or no question. Like, who's the mafia? Is it him? The detective has to answer truthfully yes or no. So... There you go. This could be deceived, niggas could lie. The mafia could say whatever they want. The detective could say whatever they want. You feel me? Anything goes. Like if I like let's say I wake up, right? I go boom. Oh, I'm the detective. And I said, this nigga's the mafia. That has mad dog here. <laughs> nigga's the mafia. Right? Like, let's say I'm saying the truth. Like I'm actually saying the truth and I'm actually a detective. This nigga could lie and be like, Cat, I'm the doctor. Or Cap, I'm gonna say, Cap this, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, trying to keep his identity a secret to win. Get it? I hope y'all get it, because I'm bad at explaining things. But yeah, that's how the game goes. Yeah. Alright, so I found the video. You feel me? Um, you know what I'm saying? I dropped a like, as you can see. Don't play with that man's bread. That man's serious about his bread. Just like I am. Yeah. I'm talking to you, nigga. Drop the like. Anyways. Let's continue. Um, boom. So I'm gonna start it right here. So boom, Jeremy, line up this footage, gangsta. Game is broke down into two groups. You're the mafia or civilian, which of course, right? If you get a car, no, let no one in this room know what car you have. Never show nobody your car. Look to see what color it is. Put it back in your bra, put it under your body, put it under your pillow. Never show nobody what your car is. If you become the doctor, I give you instructions at the end, at the uh, and instructions at the end if you're the doctor. If you, have, if you are the doctor, no one should know you're the doctor. <clears throat> when the lights come off, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about, right? So anyway, blah, blah, blah. So far, so far. So listen, everyone is gonna get a car. Do not tell anyone your car, all right? Great. Even if you get out, do not say what your card is. Even if you get out, so even if you get out, and you, I'm just, you gonna see when I what I mean. You get out. Even if you get out, do not tell nobody what you is until you come. I'm a. It's basically I'm gonna just get it. They gonna know. They gonna know a sense of what you not. You are gonna see. Y'all three y'all gonna see after the first. You might be out first. You might be out second. Who knows? So I need everybody here to. I need everybody here to lay their head. Down, don't look. That's it, Yeah, that's the uh, that's it. Remember, if you are the doctor, don't let no one know. Sorry, Mary. All right, I'm sorry to talk to you. Hold on. This is for timing purposes. All right? So see what they're doing? Nobody's supposed to know who you are, but the way I play with my friends, like, we don't tell them that they can't, like, they can't tell nobody. Like, it's preferred that you don't tell nobody, so, like, argument doesn't conflict, and it turns on you, so niggas don't think you're capping. So, it's, it's, it is better if you do keep quiet, but honestly, with, like, my friends, like, we just, 
We let niggas go crazy. Like, if you, you could cap, you could tell the truth, like, off the rip or whatever. But usually, niggas do stay quiet, but it does make it more spicy when, like, niggas, when niggas are, um, when niggas are, like, you know, you know, able to lie. Because we let people lie. We let you do whatever you want. Like, we do this, by the way, like, through online, like a PlayStation party. If you know what that is, I guess like a voice chat, it's like a group chat call. If you know what that is, if you know what a PlayStation party is, but yeah, that's how we play and we DM each other, each other's roles and stuff. Let's continue though. My screen cap, <laughs> my screen cap is dirty. <clears throat> this is heavy, bro. Nobody get caught. Nobody get caught. Nobody get caught. Nobody get caught. What he's doing though? What he's doing? Hold on. What he's doing though? Um. I don't know what he's doing. Like, the cards. I usually just... I don't, I don't know what he's doing with the cards. Um, like, through the PlayStation party, I usually just DM everybody's positions. I never seen anybody, like, do it with a card, though. I know Mafia was, like, a card game type thing. I'm gonna have to look into that. Oh, that nigga low-key weird. Alright! Today is the first day in sunny New York City. Nah, it's crazy. You see how, you see how he said it's the first day of sunny? Because everybody puts their head down because everybody sleep. You get it? Like they round, it's like rounds, right? It's rounds. So boom, the mafia members, right? They get their card or whatever. They get this, they get that. And usually, like they sleep, right? They sleep, and in the nighttime, everything happens. In the nighttime, the detective is out there looking, like if it was like real life, the mafia is out there killing, and the civilians are out there sleeping. Man, you got a car? I got shit too. All right, get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> All right, y'all. Today is the first day in New York City, and in New York City, the mafia has come out, and everyone is scared. So everyone gets in their house, and they go to sleep. Now everybody, put your heads down. First night in crazy New York City. Now, if you have the Mafia car, Diamond, what are you doing? That's, come on, Diamond, don't cheat, bro. You're seeing Diamond cheating, bro. But look, anyways, don't tell me that again. But listen, today's the first night, right? If you are in the Mafia, Please wake up. I need the people of the Mafia to choose one person to kill. Oh, so you see that? The people that are with their heads up, that girl and that dude, on Chino the left, or your right, that's mafia members. So their goal is to kill everybody. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Y'all came up with that? Oh, okay. All right. Can everybody please wake up? Can everybody please wake up? Now, the news just came up. Bro, I know I'm dead, bro. I die every time when the person. The news came up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, here's now. Wow, you messing up the game. All right, could the doctor please wake up? Doctor, save one person. Doctor, please wake up. That's crazy, okay. right? Heads down. Oh, the edge. Nah, but that's crazy, though. You see that? Sunny day in, no, in New York City. Y'all wake up, please. 
the sunny day in New York City. But it was a tragic killing last night. She tried to run. She Shoot. tried so bad. But they shot her dead in the head. Her name was Diamond. Damn. <laughs> <it's the owner. laughs> Damn. Nah, come on, that was like the doctor said. Usually, usually when me and my friends do it, we tell like funny ass stories. Yeah. We tell funny ass stories. But I, I was about to say one, but it's not really funny, it's more of an inside joke. No funny shit though. This shit is valid. I'm dead gonna do a video on this. It's fun. It's it's fun like no matter what you are, whether you're a civilian, a doctor. A detective of the mafia. It's a lot of pressure when you're the mafia because, like, you really gotta like maintain cover. What they messed, what he messed up on was he was quiet for mad long. Like it was gonna get to him. It was so inevitable. And he was mad defensive. Like he shouldn't have been so defensive. I think it'd be cool. Maybe we might do a mukbang before a little vlog. I don't know. It depends if I get my camera fixed too, cause that shit broke, bro. But anyways, man. <sighs> I don't have an outro, do I? That's weird. That's tough.